Units 9 to 10 Quiz, Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Oh, Max, my best friend moved. This is so depressing. How can I meet new people? Well, what about going to the public tennis courts, Sheila? The courts are brand new and just down the street from your place. Maybe you could go with your neighbors. Actually, I've tried that already, and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to play tennis after working all day. Then why don't you join a book club? There's one at that bookstore near your office. I don't know. I've joined book clubs before, and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you buy the books but never go. Well, then, I think you've got a dilemma. 2. Hey, Sheila, what about taking a dance class? Hmm, I never thought of that before, Max. A dance class can help you in two ways. You know, give you something to look forward to and meet new people. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for classes on the Internet. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation, you know, from someone who's taken one. Oh, I just remembered. My sister-in-law Melissa took a salsa class, and she really thought it was great. I remember. Then she competed in a contest. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Kayla. Did you see those photos that were sent from Saturn by the spacecraft Cassini? Yes. Isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too. But a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1990. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s. But I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration since the 1990s when the U.S. Space Shuttle Discovery docked with the Russian space station Mir. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Josh. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel. Four. Well, Kayla, do you think by 2100 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not, but perhaps by then people will have traveled to the moon for vacations. No. Really? Yes, and those spacecrafts will be continuing to perform their research on Uranus and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even more sophisticated research to learn new facts, like whether there is water on other planets. I guess you're right. Just think of the Hubble Space Telescope. Yes, I think that scientists and astronauts will be discovering amazing things in the future.